Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so, so much for watching for another weekly, no, not weekly, daily vlog. <laughs> it's just going to be one day, day in the life, pregnant mom, two kids, almost in my third trimester, you guys. Third trimester starts on Thursday. I cannot believe that. That is a crazy town. Um, <laughs> so join me. Busy day. I'll show you everything I do. So I just feel like this weekend, I was just thinking about how blessed I am, and oh gosh, Mark just did this weird kick when I said that. Whoa, that was intense. Um, he's doing like these rolling things, and it like takes my breath away. It's like he rolls into my diaphragm, um, which is fine. I love baby kicks. That just surprised me. <laughs> I've just been thinking about how blessed we are. There is no perfection in our life at all. There is lots of things that aren't going right, but there are so many things that we are so blessed in and I could just get teary eyed. I just woke up this morning feeling so blessed. Um, I have healthy kids. I have a growing baby in my tummy and I have just, I have so many blessings. We have a warm house, we have food. And I was just cuddling the kids last night, just thinking about how blessed we are. We have a little dorky dog. Her name, her name is Layla and her breed is dorky because she is Dotson and Yorkie. And we just have the sweetest little family. So I, I invite you to come along with me today, day in the life, mom life. Um, David is off today. My husband is off today. He is a pastor. I get a lot of questions. Maybe I don't say it enough what he does, but he's a pastor. And so Sundays are kind of like a work day for him. They are a work day for him because he's a pastor. So he's there really early at church and, you know, he's working. Um, so he does get Mondays off. Usually he doesn't always take them, but usually he does. And so he almost always takes the kids to school for me in the morning. I get up with them. I do breakfast and pack lunches and get them dressed. And then he takes them on his way to work. He takes them to school. He even takes them on Mondays when he's off. And so I told him last night, look, I need to go to the grocery store in the morning. I will get up with the kids and take them to school so you can just rest today. So he still got up with me and he helped me get them ready, which was so sweet. And then I told him, go back to bed. <laughs> Don't watch a movie on your phone. Just go to sleep and rest. So I really hope he's doing that. I really hope he's doing that because he's had a very busy season. So I'm about to run into the grocery store. I have a very ambitious very ambitious meal plan this week. I'll have to tell you guys about it, but I'm planning on making a potato soup in the crock pot. I'm planning on making chilies, copycat chicken enchilada soup, um, chicken pot pies because I want to put some in the freezer and I have a video on my chicken pot pies. I'll link that down below. Anyway, I just have a lot <laughs> of ambition and I've really been enjoying cooking lately. So let's hope the energy level stays fairly good so I can do that but I need to get a bunch of stuff at the store. Our fridge is like completely empty. It's crazy how fast we went through groceries this week. Um, so, and we bought a bunch last week. I don't know, I don't know. It's just, it's happening. <laughs> it's like, oh man, where did all those groceries go? We've, and I, I went back and got more milk after Monday. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's, it's a good problem when kids are eating and you know, food's disappearing. You just know that Everybody's happy and healthy, you know? So I'm gonna run to the store. I've got my list here. It's long. It's all the way down this piece of paper. So I'm gonna go do that. And then when I get home, I'm gonna put everything away. And I don't know what David and I are doing today. We usually have like a date kind of day. I need to kind of look around for Nate. He has, y'all. <laughs> okay, so last year, so Nate has autism, my seven-year-old. And last year, long sleeves were very like sensory overload. I don't know what it was. He just hated long sleeve shirts. And I think it was like he would get in, in school and then he would get hot and he couldn't take it off, you know, because he is really hot natured. So I got rid of all of his long sleeve shirts. Well, they really didn't fit anyway, but I really just haven't bought him long sleeve shirts because I'm like, it's pointless. He won't wear them. Well, this year, I think, excuse me, I think that his, his teacher said something about the heat not working great in their, in their classroom and they're trying to get it fixed. So it's been cooler in there. Normally it's really warm in their school. Like I'm always hot there. Um, so she's like, you might want to see if he'll wear long sleeves because he's been kind of cold. 
So he's been loving the long sleeves. And you guys, he has two, we counted, two long sleeve shirts. One, I think my friend Jen brought him. And the other one, Grammy got him last year and it still fits. So I didn't get rid of it. That is it. It's crazy. So I kind of want to look at Target and just get him a few. I know um, Grammy says she got him a couple. So we'll we'll get some more later. She's been shopping for him. Um, but I don't know. He's, he's a mystery. <laughs> Every time I think I get something figured out and I'm like, oh, we'll just wear short sleeves with hoodies or sweatshirts. But the problem is he doesn't like wearing sweatshirts and stuff inside. He wants to take them off. He thinks the jacket is to be taken off. So then he's getting cold. I am glad he's wearing the long sleeve shirt. So that's good. It's a good thing. But he just doesn't have any. <laughs> oh, man. And Lucy, all of her long sleeve shirts don't fit her. I thought that she would be in five girls because um, she's out of the toddler sizes and all of them are too small. So I guess she needs a six, but see a lot of sizes are size six, eight. Like that's like the, or six, seven, I think at Target, they're all six, sevens and they're too big. So it's been a hard, <laughs> it's been hard clothes wise for both of them. But anyway, I'm going to run into Walmart. I'm going to take you guys with us. We'll probably go to lunch today, I'm thinking. Um, maybe do a little bit of shopping. Our Christmas stuff is up. It looks just so festive inside. 38 days till Christmas, you guys. When I, as I'm filming. Actually, 37. 37 days as I'm filming. You guys are seeing this a few days later. So it's even sooner for y'all. <sighs> anyway, let's get shopping. Let's go do the grocery shopping. And then I'll just carry you with me all day. And you can see what we do. All right, you guys, I know the sun is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Where's my sunglasses? Okay, so I'm done at Walmart. I was in there over an hour. I am so tired. This is why I do the grocery pickups a lot. However, I like getting everything on Monday for the week, and we're nowhere near a pickup. David is on Tuesday. There's one close to the church, but our Walmart doesn't do the pickup yet. If they ever did, that'd be amazing. But... I like going at least in the morning where it's not very crowded. The only crowded part is dealing with all the people stocking the shelves and stuff, which is kind of a pain because they're all over the store and they're like in the way of the aisles, but there's not a lot of people in there. So I spent $133 and then I realized, David told me before I left, but there's a big box in my trunk. So I have the groceries like spread out all over the car and um, I'm going to go home and put them all away. And I have a headache. I started getting the headache while I was in there. So I'm going to take some Tylenol and put all this away. And I'll see you guys back later. And hopefully we'll be doing something more fun than putting away groceries. All right, you guys. So I came home. I put all the groceries away. And I decided to go ahead and cook up the chicken. I hate raw chicken. And I'm so obsessed with like getting all the fat off and stuff. So it took me forever to trim it up really good. But I'm going to cook this. Oh, there's my phone. Hold on. All right. Sorry, you guys. So I've got the chicken in here. I just put a little bit of water. And I'm going to cook it on low and then I'll shred it up. So I need this for chicken pot pies. And I'm hoping to make several chicken pot pies for the freezer too. And then I also need it for that chili soup I'm going to make. So I'm going to let this go all day and then I'll just shred it up. I trimmed ever loving <laughs> um all everything <laughs> off of this chicken I cannot stand to see like fat and ugh, it just grosses me out so um anyway <laughs> I've got it going in there and I'm gonna this this actually is a multi cooker I think it's called it does lots of different things my crock pot my slow cooker which it has a slow cooker function is why I'm doing it in here but my actual crock pot got dented at our last nacho sale I dropped it on a very hard floor and it just broke so dented all in <laughs> it was just really bad so anyway the actual base of it so I'm going to use this as my crock pot for a while but this will cook all day on low for like actually I'm going to season this I forgot to season it I'm going to put some salt pepper um maybe some like poultry seasoning and just let it go all day so anyway <laughs> I thought I'd show y'all. And it is almost 11, y'all. David's up working in the jewelry room, and we're going to get moving with this day. But got everything put away, chicken cooking, so we're good to go. 
All right, you guys, we're in the car and we're starving. I've got David here. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we are headed to Popeyes. And we actually just, this Popeyes just opened like what, a month ago or so? Something like that. We like Popeyes, um, the service. Occasionally. Yeah, it, it's, it's okay. I don't go there all the time. We've been wanting to try it <clears throat> or go there. And also, I think their chicken sandwiches are back in stock. And we wanted to vlog us trying the chicken sandwich. I know we're like months late on the craze, but I do want to try it because I love Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches and supposedly this is even better I don't know if I can believe that but we're gonna go into Popeyes see what they have get some lunch and do some more errands but if we do try the chicken sandwich we'll vlog it if they have the chicken sandwiches is that what you're gonna get yes ma'am okay I kind of want to try the spicy one but I've been having a really bad acid reflux so probably need to stay no, with, you need to regular. Fire with fire. I don't think that'll work so um and I love their red beans and rice, which I don't know, that might be terrible for acid reflux too. But anyway, we're going to go in. We're going to see what the, the deal is. It doesn't look too crowded. Like there's a good little line in the drive-thru that I can see. We're waiting at a red light right now. But it's not like backed up past the restaurant or anything. So they may not have it. I don't know. But we're going to go in. We'll vlog whatever we do get. I am so hungry. My stomach is growling. And then you didn't eat breakfast. So I know you're hungry. So let's go eat. All right, you guys, so we waited a while. We got the sandwich. I got mine with no mayo, but I did add a little bit of ranch. It is very big. It's big, right? So this is the regular. Okay, I'm gonna look like a whole eating this. It's different than chip oil. It's more crispy. It's worth it. It's worth the wait. You want to try yours? Sure. Okay. It's bigger, right? Yeah. They put a, like three tenders together on mine, looks like. It's not really tenders. It's a sandwich, but they're big. Definitely more crispy. Yeah. What do you think? I think I would like the spicy one better. I just don't want to have acid reflux. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little bland. But I think the spicy would be better. That, that's going to depend on filet to filet. That's not bad. It's good. The texture of it's really good. Yeah, that crunch adds a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yay. We're going to eat now. We're starving. All right, you guys. Now that we've officially eaten it, we're going to tell you the truth. Well, it was the truth in there, but we only had one bite. <laughs> I'm in a food coma. <laughs> okay. So I will say it is a good value of a size yeah. sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Plus, we got a side, and I couldn't even eat all of it. It was a lot of food. The the classic was a little bland, and it was kind of it had a good crunch on the outside. But that's it, on that's on the that's on the people preparing it though. That's not on the it's not the chicken's fault. Yeah, but I think their spicy would have been way better because it's way yeah, more maybe. seasoned. Or would it be more spicy? Or would it be too spicy? Their know. their chicken's not super spicy. Anyway, it wasn't. And like the, there was a texture of the inside of the chicken that I didn't love. You don't like juicy chicken. It was too, not even juicy, but just kind of wet feeling. That's what I'm it. saying. You don't like it prepared that way. It just, and I'm, I'm really sensitive to chicken right now. It's just grossing me out, you guys. So Don't think about it anymore. Yeah. Anyway, and then I got red beans and rice, and they were, it was awful. Now, our Popeyes is brand new, but. There's been a few times you've gotten it. It wasn't that good. Yeah, it was like too smoky or something and really dry. Maybe they changed the way they make it. Oh, um, anyway, <laughs> David saw, we waited at how long? Maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes from the time we ordered. It took a little while. 15 minutes too long. Not yeah. if, if you're a fast food restaurant, Well, fast. and the thing is, like, I know they've been really backed up, but there was not that many people in there. Yeah. One lady came back in with her chicken sandwich and said she wanted a refund because it didn't look like the picture. Which, was, that, that made my day. That was hilarious. <laughs> and then one man was waiting to order for a long time, and he... And he walked out the door and said, Chick-fil-A, here I come. <laughs> so... Now, okay, serious business. Would you rather have Chick-fil-A or that? Popeye's. The sandwich? Just the sandwich. Just the sandwich. Uh, if I have to, if, if there's a sliding scale from one to ten, I'm giving Chick Fil A a six and Popeyes a four. Wow! So okay. if if the, if the meters go in there, it's leaning more towards Chick Fil A. I I think Chick Fil A's sandwich, although it may not be as bulky and 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 big, 
the flavor of the chicken and the way it's prepped, you know they know what they're doing. Okay, hands yeah. down, I would rather have Chick-fil-A. Now that, the first bite that I tasted in yes. there was really good. I ate the whole thing, it was great. But after the couple of bites, I kind of just stopped tasting the chicken and it was just kind of yeah. bland. Yeah, um, Again, a little too much breading too. A little yeah, too much breading. too much breading. I'll, now the crispy factor is the difference maker. The crispy Popeyes factor. has a crispy factor yeah. and Chick-fil-A is a soft bite all but the way through. Chick-fil-A's Still my favorite. The recipe is dialed in. It's delicious. You cannot even compare service. No. I mean, it's no. like night and day. Okay. Night and day. Sliding scale service, Chick-fil-A, <laughs> a nine. Popeye's a one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not even close. So, like, seriously, if I went back to Popeye's, I probably wouldn't get the chicken sandwich again. I'd probably just get tenders or something. Yeah. Um, now, where I will give Popeye's a definite edge is their biscuits. Popeye's biscuits are legit. They're yeah, very, got, very we good. Some and I, I can only imagine putting Chick fil A's chicken in a Popeye's biscuit as opposed to the Chick fil A biscuit. But yeah. Chick fil A's biscuit is not heavily buttered or seasoned because it's made to just transport the chicken. That's yeah. what it's designed so, to do. So it was fun to try it. I don't think I would get it again. And if I wanted a chicken sandwich, I would probably go to Chick fil A and get yeah. it a lot faster. Yeah. And it, the the bigness of the chicken, the thickness of it, mm -hmm. I really did not like. I don't like when meat gets really, really thick and it's very kind of Well, at meaty. the same time, <laughs> if, if it had been that thick and had not had as thick of a breading on it, it might have been better for you. No. But you know, you think it's that? the meaty texture. And Chick-fil-A sometimes can get a little too thick for me. I like a very thin, not... Pound, pounded out patty? Not like... Not like chicken nugget process style, but I just like a pounded, more a little thinner chicken breast. And so if you guys know of a good chicken place, <laughs> like a chicken sandwich thick, place. Thick, thick or thin, I'll eat it all. Yeah, it was good. I'm not going to say it wasn't good. The first bite was the best. And their pickles, I know you didn't get pickles, but their pickles were really good. I just don't like pickles. Um, they only gave me two, though. They gave me two pickles. Well, Chick-fil-A only gives you two. I always ask for extra Chick-fil-A and they give you a ton. Anyway, so it was fun to try it. Is it mind blowing? Mm. No. Is the service terrible? Yes. Yes. <laughs> are the biscuits great? Yes. The biscuits are great. Sweet tea's good too. And the red beans rice is not good today. But again, we have a very new Popeyes, so maybe okay. they're just not. Popeyes fries, waffle fries. Waffle fries. Waffle fries. Their fries were like, we got the, they accidentally gave me fries instead just, of Are y'all detecting fries. the pattern here? There's a reason. Just Chick fil A. There's a reason Chick fil A is the highest grossing fast food chain in the world. Well, it's their there's, service. There's, there's, I there's mean, a their reason. food is really good their too. Their food is but very good. Their service makes up for anything. Yes, it does. And anyway, so they gave me fries and so we ended up getting a lot of food because they messed mm -hmm. up so much. So we ended up getting, they forgot to put biscuits, you order biscuits, they forgot to put it on the receipt. Then what bring the food? They don't give her the red beans and rice, which in all, which now looking back, they probably should have kept it. Yeah. But, so he was like, no, we waited long enough. You're going to get the red beans and rice. So I got to keep the fries, which yeah. I was glad because I hated the red beans, red beans and rice. I didn't even eat very many of the fries. They weren't that great. Mm -mm. So anyway, now we're going to go shopping for Nate, a couple shirts, and we got to go to the post office. And this week, like time to get the kids in like an hour. So maybe we'll go live at the school. We'll see. We'll see if I can stay up. Oh. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. You guys, we stopped by our P.O. box, and uh, I thought I'd show you what we got. I'm not going to open baby stuff. I just wanted to make sure that's what that was. <laughs> it is. So we're having our shower on Sunday night. We hope you all can come. You don't have to send a gift. Just come and help us celebrate baby Mark. But Brenda and Elizabeth both sent us a gift for the shower. So that's – I'm not opening it yet. I just kind of opened it and looked at the name. And then – we went ahead and canceled our Universal Yum box because we just haven't had time to do it. Just life has been so crazy, but we have one more. Hopefully we have time to do. I think we're behind. We actually have one that hasn't been done yet. And then we have this one. But I finally got my pump in. So th this, I used, um, what's it called? Airflow, Aeroflow Healthcare. They submit your breast pump through your insurance and most, I think all insurance or insurances are required to provide a pump. And this one actually came with a backpack, which already came, but I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in the baby room, <laughs> but the actual pump finally got here. I only had to pay, I think I upgraded insurance didn't pay like $30 of this, but last time I used a Medela pump, 
but I've heard really good things about this Spectra um, one, so I thought I'd try it. I, did, I don't pump a lot because um, I'm home and everything, but I do like to have the pump for, you know, sometimes where you need to have milk that's not, you know, whatever, that you can put in a bottle or whatever. So this is not going to be used for a while, but yay, it's finally here, so I don't have to worry about it. And it comes with like bottles and all kinds of stuff. And we stopped by Kohl's and they weren't having great sales today, but we did get Nate a couple things. These shirts were $10 each. Best brother ever. This one I think was eight. And it's the Grinch. I hope he likes it. He may hate it. He really loves the Grinch, but sometimes it can make him a little freaked out. <laughs> But I couldn't resist. It was only eight dollars. So it was so cute. And if I can get this out, this one is glow in the dark dinosaur. It's like a dinosaur on the moon. It was also ten dollars. So now he has three more shirts. And I did. I forgot. I did get him a couple Christmas shirts at Walmart. So now we have a few to get us through this time where he needs long sleeve shirts. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go take a little rest. David is going to get the kids. So I have a little less than an hour before everybody gets home. I still have a headache. So I'm going to try. And that chicken sandwich made me a little queasy. Y'all, chicken is not going well for me. I don't know why I keep making chicken, <laughs> cutting up chicken, and eating chicken. But I don't know. It's just making me sick. So I'm going to go lay down a little bit. And I'll check back in with you guys in a while. Whoa, what are y'all doing? Oh, my goodness. Y'all got a mess up in here. Nate, are you playing with the Peppa toys with Lucy? They're acting out their Peppa books. Lucy, <laughs> get that off your head. What is he, I did it five times. Is he recreating the Peppa stories, Lucy? No, he's watching Dora, and he's also oh, he's watching, watching Dora? it why he did it. He's watching Dora, and he's recreating the Peppa. Man, beep. Lucy, goodness. Beep, beep. What are you doing, Nate? Beep, beep, beep. Well, I'm glad y'all are playing together as crazy beep, as it beep, sounds beep, in here. Beep. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you have to tickle my toes. I, have to tickle, I can't bend down that much. <laughs> you have to tickle my toes to get... How did everybody have a good day? Did everybody have a good day at school? You have to tickle my toes to get it off my head. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Didn't take a harder. Oh gosh, Lizzie, I'm not bending down. Mommy's harder. too big. I'm trying to get a video. Right, you guys, I look great. Um, the camera died when I was trying to show you what Nate was doing, but he was he had the Peppa Pig book and he was lining up all the characters and acting out the scenes. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, I have not felt good all afternoon. Very bad acid reflux. No matter what I eat. Now I did have that chicken sandwich, but I can eat a bowl of cereal and I get acid reflux. So. I have no idea what I'm make. I was supposed to make sloppy joes for dinner. David ended up having a quesadilla because I had all that chicken cooking. So I shredded him up a little bit and made him like a chicken quesadilla. And I haven't had anything. Putting the kids to bed now. I wanted to show you guys. I did shred up all that chicken. I have a big bag of it. Although it doesn't look like as much as I thought. It's pretty finely shredded because I used my hand mixer and I got a little carried away. <laughs> and so I ground it a little too much, but best tip ever, when you have shredded chicken, to make shredded chicken a lot at once, use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid mixer, and you don't have to do it that fine. You can stop before it gets that fine. <laughs> but it was so um, cooked that it just kind of fell apart. So I'm gonna use that to make chicken pot pie, and if there's enough, I need to save some for that chicken enchilada soup. But, not as much as I wanted it to be because I cut off so much fat and grossness from the chicken. So anyway, I kind of think I may make some grits or something really bland for dinner because my stomach's just been really upset. Not good. It's like when you're pregnant, your stomach gets pushed up out of the way of your belly, your baby belly. <laughs> so it makes me have terrible acid reflux and this has been the worst of all. So Anyway, I go to the doctor on Thursday. I may mention it to them and see if there's something stronger I can take because right now Pepsid and Tums is just not cutting it. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys 
all of that. Got my chicken prep, so it should make tomorrow a lot easier. David's been helping me so much with laundry and house stuff and the kids. And um, Lucy got to talk to Grammy and Grandpa on FaceTime. So we've just had a kind of lazy afternoon and evening. Um, I also want to tell you guys something else. Oh, Nate had a great day at school, and his teacher wrote that she was asking questions, I guess, addressed to the whole class, asking them different questions, and Nate actually answered in front of everybody. That does not happen ever. He's doing so, so well. I'm just so proud of him, and we're just so blessed. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I am kind of grossed out about the whole Popeye's chicken sandwich thing. I think because I got so sick after eating it, I don't know if I can ever eat it again. <laughs> it's pretty much ruined for Dad, eternity. This is gonna be a noise. You guys, this is gonna. Can you tell them good night? Good night. <laughs> you want to say anything else? I love you. Oh, they love you too. And she's off. She's running off. All right, we're getting the kids to bed. It's almost 8 30. I'm going to sign off. And if you have tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich, leave a comment down below and tell me if you think it's better than Chick fil A because I am not convinced. It kind of grossed me out big time. <laughs> I am pregnant though, so could be that. And chicken grosses me out anyway. So it was too bland. It was way too bland. Like the actual meat was bland and bland chicken meat. It's just really gross. So <sighs> I can't even talk about it. I love you guys. Oh, David also found it. A lot of you are helping us look. He also found the Christmas dots at tonight at Target. So we're stocked on those. Okay. Let me show you. I'm coming. Let me show you the Christmas dots. This is David's favorite holiday candy. They are cherry lime and vanilla flavored gumdrops mommy why do you got Target this had them. that's for our baby mark why is it pink i'll tell you about it later why just wondering what pink? my breast pump is that's a conversation for not right at bedtime <laughs> that's a longer conversation um anyway so he's been looking for them over a year we didn't find them any last year Target had them this year. So if you're looking for the Christmas dots, check Target. Nobody else has them. All right. I love you guys. Thumbs up if you like this video. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Wanna shake the ground. Wanna break away. Let loose. I'm tired of waiting. Gonna make that move. Shout to